Laura, a gift of God and a model of holiness. She was educated in line with the preventive system of St. John Bosco at the merry help of Christian school. As a happy and joyful adolescent, she soon became a model of friendship with Jesus, of apostolic charity among her companions, and of fidelity to her daily duties. She privately vowed to live the three vows professed by the religious sisters, poverty, chastity, and obedience. She was a model student, prayerful, listened to the sisters, available to her companions, always happy and ready to make sacrifices. In complete trust and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, she endured physical and moral sufferings with heroic fortitude and offered her life to the Lord. Saint Pope John Paul II proposed her as a model of evangelical courage. At the age of 12, she gave her life for the mission of salvation. Laura, from her short life, does teach us holiness. And I would like to mention her five simple lessons in her own words, with some simple but serious quotes for growing in personal holiness. To do the will of God, this is my favorite prayer. Pray for God's will in your life and pray for the courage to follow His will. He knows you and He loves you more than you love yourself. He can and will make something beautiful out of you if you let Him. Second, be constant in virtue. Practice holy habits, especially the virtue of purity. Pray for the grace of self-control. Take custody of your senses. Do not do, speak about, look at or listen to anything that could compromise virtue, especially purity. Remain in a state of grace and go to confession often. If you fall, get to confession right away. Third, O oh Jesus, I offer myself to you and I want to be all yours. Laura was famous for receiving Holy Communion as often as she was able, as well as making visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Stay close to Jesus in the Eucharist. Fourth, O Mary, give me your hand, take mine. Stay close to the Blessed Mother. Laura was close to Our Lady and Our Lady was close to Laura. Fifth, suffer silently and smile always. Stay cheerful even in the midst of suffering. In other words, offer it up and keep smiling. Laura did that and she has since been raised to the altar. Can you and I grow in daily holiness just like Laura?